with an FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 3 0 win over East Mombara in the National League South. Adam, what were your thoughts on the game? Um, good, dis- good display, I thought, all round. Um, you know, Rocco's kept a clean sheet in, in the back four and made some good saves today. Um, I just thought all over the pitch we, we moved the ball well. Um, I thought the only way they were going to get back into the game really was through our sort of mistakes. And, um, we did let him in a couple of times, a couple of shots that I saved, Rocco saved, but I think in the main it's a really good performance and um, probably not as good as the performance first half at Hemel, um, but we end up losing that day. So, you know, the frustrations are there um, because um, if you're playing as well as what we are, um, you know, was that 24 league games now, we've got 40 points, um, but still think we should be pushing for more. Um, and. You know, when, when they play like that, I think everyone's in agreement as well. I think it was across the pitch, though, as you said, and a good day for the defenders as well. Joe Felix and Joe Wright both getting in goals, uh, rare ones for both of them as well. Uh, talk us through those, and they must have been delighted with them. No, well, yeah, um, you know, Joe, Joe Wright, hoping um, that give him a lot of confidence, um, you know, and, and Joe Felix started higher, and then sort of when he went to, to right back, I thought he was excellent, um, defended 1v1 very well, and you know, give his energy to, to get up the pitch as well. So, you know, really, really pleased with them both. And, um, you know, Joel as well, um, you know, kept him playing back in the centre back and um, had a really good performance again. Um, so, and it was obviously great to, to have Kane back. I think he was a, a real miss uh, away at Hemel. So, yeah, sort of delighted to have him back in the, in the side as well. Jay Robinson got a lot of minutes today as well. So he's sort of easing back into the team. The squad's starting to come together a little bit more again. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Whenever it seems to get this way low, we then seem to pick up a couple of injuries and it seems to um, be a while before we can have everyone back fit and, and firing. And um, Yeah, I just hope, um, you know, Cash has got 90, Greg's got 90, Michael's got 90, like I say, Jake's got 45 under his belt. Um, so I'm hoping that their fitness levels are, are going to improve a lot with that. Um, because we're a team that has to run. Um, I think it's it's quite evident that when we when we lose games, our running stats are down, um, and that is you know there for everybody to see. Uh, we see it with our our eyes, and, and the stats back it back it up as well. So we're a team that's got to run, got to got to work hard, and, and really sprint. And um, you know, I think when we do that, we, we can be a real test for for any team at this level. You can tell the lessons we learned from that from. Uh, Hemel last Saturday, it seems that the team sort of wanted to prove something today. No, yeah, definitely, and today we've got to find a way to to constantly play like that, constantly try to try to prove something. Um, that's got to be our sort of way that we approach games, I think. Um, but yeah, um, like I say, real real good performance, um, good result. Um, you know, for a team that's conceded the goals that we got to still have the, the goal difference that we got is, is good and you know we could have maybe made it more emphatic on, on the day as well today. A little note for you personally, it's 10 years since you were first appointed world manager uh, yesterday, Christmas day. 10 years, how's yeah. that? that? That's flown by isn't it? Jeez, no, yeah. apologies to everyone that's had to witness that for 10 years but no, yeah, it's obviously um, a long time, little spell away. Um, so it was it two years away with um, with Brighton and um, about six weeks or so with, with Hastings. But yeah, um, you know it's it's probably quite rare in football to have that kind of longevity. And you know, you just want to keep on taking everything forward. And you know, I've really seen the, the club transform in those ten years. It's like a completely different club, and just want to keep on uh, expanding on that and, and taking it forward.